Welcome guys, Brandon here from Terminator Gaming, and once again we're on World of Warships with another replay. This time, once again, in the Jean Bart. Go, oh, go figure. It was the Georgia, and now it's the Jean Bart. Okay, you like Tier 9 battleships. We get it, Brandon. Yeah, I do like my Tier 9 battleships. It's, it's, this is the ships that I play best in, apparently. I, played, I, I had several great games in the Iowa, I had some decent averages, not a great win rate. Um, Jean Bart have great win rate. Um, pretty decent averages, and same with the Georgia. I have pretty pretty good win rates and pretty good averages. There's some tier nine is by far my most effective tier that I play, where I feel like I'm actually contributing my fair share. Whereas at tier ten, I don't uh, feel like that. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Playing a tier ten game on the trap map with uh, domination as the game mode. And it's tier 10, we have, of course, the FDR on our team, which is thankful. Um, I will preference this by saying this game isn't really all about me. Um, this game is actually a lot about my team and the enemy team here, actually. Um, I start this game by popping my engine boost, and I'm like, I ain't not going to A. There's just no way I'd sail down to A. A is just a death trap. I don't like playing down that A. Um... So yeah, I, I'm going up towards C and B, you know, I'm just getting away from there. I fired at that Shikishima, uh, got 8,300 damage at that range, which, you know, not terrible. And then I decided I'm going to bully that tier 8 Monarch. Uh, for, yeah, I shouldn't have said bully. Um, Wargaming doesn't like that. Uh, the enemy Shikishima that I hit... Nuke Saimogami, who was spawned down to the south. Um, so, if that isn't any inclination of how this game's gonna go, I don't know what is. Um, I shoot again at the Monarch. Um, partially, this is... I didn't guess the speed correctly. So I missed badly, but the dispersion wouldn't have helped me anyways, because my dispersion was, like, huge on that shell. So, or that salvo. This dispersion a little bit better. Hopefully I gauge the range correctly this time, or gauge the uh, momentum of that target, and nothing. <laughs> so yeah, the, this game's already started off a little bit worse for me than I'd like. Um, our team, of course, is at least capping two points right now. They got A, no problem, but a lot of them did push A, and something shot at me. It was just speculative shots too, so... Glad it missed. Anyways, we're gonna... I decided, well, the entire enemy team that we know of is spotted to the south. Let me just speed boost my way towards B then. Uh, but, there's, I think there is an enemy player in both of B and C contesting. Uh, so we are... Of yeah, so I get spotted here. There's a DD... Up ahead, I think it's the an enemy lightning, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't rewatched this replay yet. Yeah, enemy lightning. Um, so I do decide to actually start turning my guns that way, and you know, I'll shoot at him. Why not? What's well, the worst that can happen? I get nuked out of the water by a Shikishima. Um, so the enemy team, realizing that they have captured A with no real uh, problem, have decided to now push up through B. Um, they're in the lead only by 60 points. I'm getting shot at by three things. One of them being the Sheikah, and the other one being that Massey. And then now, I think, also the Iowa. So, I'm shooting at the, the Massachusetts, obviously. Um, he's broadside to me compared to that Iowa. We get 9k, so it's like, cool. Not That's not great. Um, the enemy Iowa's pushing up. I'm not going to get... I don't think... I, yeah, I'm not going to get another shot off against that Massey. There I get hit by the Sheikah. That, the, the Sheikah doesn't tickle. Uh, he's pretty pretty hurtful. The Iowa is at a good angle to me, but I still decide to shoot AP at him. Thankfully, I miss, you know, because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give him a fighting chance. Um, no, I... Just really bad at gauging uh, speeds. I think I did this game before I went to work. Or after I came back from work. One of the two. I wasn't in, like, the right mindset. I just wanted to get my games in. Um, the Iowa is making a tactical blunder here. 
he's decided that the best course of action is to spin around. Um, thankfully, I don't punish him here because, uh, you know, he needs that fighting chance because he did get punished by somebody else. So, yeah, you know, good job, Brandon. You could have nuked that Iowa out of the water, um, but you gave him a fighting chance. You're a very charitable person. So, now, humiliated by the fact that I couldn't kill the Iowa, I switched back to firing at the Massachusetts and to the same pitiful results. You know, as always, you know, you can't win them all. I'm looking at this replay and I'm wondering why the f why am I still doing what I'm doing and not trying to actively avoid that torpedo that's coming straight at me. <laughs> I had ample opportunity there to kind of just turn to avoid that torp, but apparently no, I didn't want to. So I eat a torp they didn't need to. Thankfully the Massachusetts dispersion is just as bad, so all of his shells just go on either side of me here. Problem solved, sir. And you know, he's gonna do the same maneuver as Iowa, but you know, he should get away with it because his citadel isn't raised like Iowa's citadel. So he's gonna he should get away with this. Oh. Oh, did I say raised citadel? Oh I mean I get citadels, that's what I meant. Okay. And you know, cool guys don't look at explosions. So we killed the Massachusetts there without actually, you know, think I didn't think I was gonna kill him. Uh, and then I'm like, ooh, I can do the same thing to that Iowa right now. He's giving me good angles. Oh, let's see, let's see. And hit the reload booster and no. Uh yeah, dispersion said no. Um the island to my left is making it so I can't actually shoot him, so I shoot some AP at the Shikashima. I didn't realize, oh, there was a Seattle I could have shot at instead. And then, oh, jo oh, Torps, and no, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I shoot at the Seattle now. There, Yeah, it's still La Fantastique, uh, La Fantastique uh, that's on my flank. So I priority target him with uh, the uh, secondaries. And I hit my engine boost here. I think it's because I'm going to start speeding up and pushing forward. Otherwise, I have no idea why I would do that. Uh, I get lit on fire. Again. And it's just a commonality for me. And then start pushing forward. I think it's because I've lost engagement distance on everything that I really wanted to shoot at. And then a whole bunch of things get spotted. Mainly as I wanted to shoot at the Shikishima. Then I realize he kind of wants to shoot at me. Then he turns his gun. So I'm like, ah, I can get my guns passed. Yeah. There's an island indicator for a reason, Brandon. Solved, um, it, it's meant so you don't shoot your shells into an island. Uh, the, the enemy gearing pops up. Uh, my secondaries open up on him instead. I don't actually have priority target for or manual secondary, sorry. Um, so my secondaries just kind of open up on whatever they want to, which you know makes them inaccurate, but cool. Five shells bounce off that Shikishima. I'm doing my part to. Uh, help out his uh, potential damage numbers. Of course, I've been constantly being targeted here for a long time. And this is the point of the game where it's like, well, I'm going to go down. Because here comes the enemy aircraft carrier to finally finish the job. Um, I've been kind of sitting in that opening for a long time. But he doesn't need to because I get four fires on me. And we go down. Sadly, we weren't able to get anything against that. Monarch, we got really unlucky with the salvo again. Uh, that was kind of my thing this game. And so, I decided to stick around on this match because I figured it wasn't going to take that long and I wanted to get my wins on my Jean Bart. Because it's, it's, when you bought the, the black variants of ships, they gave you a combat mission for the original variant. And of course you can't buy the original variant of the Jean Bart. So I was like, oh, I have this mission that I can't do because I don't have that ship. Well, and then all of a sudden, I got the Jean Bart in a crate, so I was like, oh, well, I can do the missions. So I had to get, I think it was five wins, and you get 2,500 doubloons and 25,000 coal, so... Yeah, that was, uh, really nice. Um, I do question this Ohio's, uh, decision-making right here. The carrier pops up, and he decides to swing his guns to shoot at the midway instead of finishing, the, or, like, shooting at that Conqueror again who's right there that he's been shooting at. So, I don't know. Questionable choice, in my opinion. Um, he did take a chunk off of the midway, but was it worth it? 
My opinion, no. So. Um, our friendly Benson goes down trying to get to that gearing. Ah, uh, he does hit the Shikishima with a decent amount of torques, though. So that Shikishima makes him an easier target. And, see, now the game's tied. 6-6. Six to six. And the Ohio turns into the torque. Like, he had ample opportunity. I think he figures he was gonna die anyways, so I, I don't know. But I don't know if it was worth it to take that torp, because he, he might have had health. Yeah, he definitely would have had the health to survive this fire, I'm pretty sure. So he's gonna go down before this midway even decides. Yeah, <laughs> this midway has been going after attacks on things that are uh, already dead. Our friendly Neptune, he's been doing a good job keeping and conserving his health. Um, he's one of the heroes of this match. Uh, but here the Yamagi pushed in with her Ohio, and he, he's just going to get wrecked by that Shika. That, that Shikashima, very good ship. <laughs> As it is worth a lot of steel. So the Yamagi's going to e quite easily go down right here. And it's like, at this point, you might be wondering, it's like, well, this game is surely a loss, right? You can't possibly come back from this game. Because what do we have left on our team? We have a Thunder, a Smolensa, a Neptune, and an FDR. And they have a Shikishima, a Conqueror, a Monarch, a Midway, a Seattle, two DDs. Or, no, a Hindenburg, sorry, not a DD. Yeah, look at that. that you would look at this game and not think that... Especially with the Neptune launching torps no, towards where the, our Smolensk is. <laughs> So you wouldn't think that this game would end without the enemy team winning. They're up by 400 po almost 400 points. They have two of the three caps. They're going towards our third one. They're going to stop that cap. Our Smolensk is almost dead. Uh, and our Neptune here is shooting at the Hindenburg. So I was sitting here, I'm like, uh, Neptune, you have an easy kill on that Monarch. Because down goes our Smolensk, and now we are down to three ships to their six. Now numbers two to one. He finally decides to switch fire to the Monarch, because that's the smart plan, is to take out... We need to, You need to limit the amount of guns shooting back at you. Thunderer just nukes the Hindenburg's health. And thankfully our FDR is spotted, and what do a lot of enemy players do? When they see an aircraft carrier, they shoot an aircraft carrier. So the Neptune gets the chance to kill the Monarch there, and then the Shikishima sails out, but he actually switches over to firing at the Hindenburg, because the Hindenburg's lower health. So, the there's a guy in the, our team that keeps yelling to shoot the, or to shoot the Shika, and it's like, uh, no, 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 he, there's lower health targets, kill them first, and, uh, I, so I come to the Neptune's defense, I'm like, you know, he's doing it right, he's going for the guys that are sh lower health first. And he, he's doing a decent job paying attention to that. Um, the Conqueror goes down, but I did put in chat, I was like, oh, Conqueror, but it didn't, it wasn't, uh, needed, because the FDR killed him. And the Sheikah's actually going for our FDR right now, along with the enemy midway. So we went from being down 2-1 to one to tied. All of a sudden. And, uh... The guy that was complaining about the Neptune not shooting the Sheikah... Clarified he meant to launch torps against the Sheikah... And, uh... Fire on the other targets. Um, the FDR is trying to push up to avoid fire here. Because now he has a Seattle bearing down on him and the Sheikah. So really... This FDR should not survive here. But this is the tankiest FDR I've ever seen. This FDR has literally taken so much of a beating in this game. The enemy is about to win. And it's like he's an aircraft carrier. So the Thunder kills off the Sheikah before the Sheikah can even fire at the FDR, which really baffled me watching it from the FDR's perspective, not seeing the FDR die there. And now the Seattle is out in open water. But the both of the friendly ships are actually sailing away. Um, I mean, they're providing fire for the carrier, but the carrier's kind of stuck doing this himself. Uh, he launches torps against the Seattle, 
just so he can uh, get the Seattle to have to f sail away from him. And he gets some dive bombers on him, and to no effect. Oh, nope, that was the effect. A defect expert, because he's also being focused by the enemy carrier. Uh huh, so. Here's some torps, and I'm like, oh, so the carrier's gonna die right here. This is where this friendly carrier dies. He gets the rocket attack planes off against the Seattle, kills the Seattle, and Seattle shells are in the air, and. The FTR is alive. 4,700 health. Uh, all right, so this is still anybody's game that enemy aircraft carriers all that remains on the enemy team to our three ships We're finally capping back B and The midway is gonna target our FDR so hard for the rest of this game That these other two are gonna have nothing to do. They're literally just gonna push from cap to cap um, Which is crazy that the CV of ours, like, it's crazy this Midway, or uh, the Midway is going for the, it's not crazy that the Midway is going for the FDR. Like, it seems like the smart play. The FDR is literally on less than 5,000 5, health, and he has a 100 point advantage. So if he kills the CV, it's like negative 65 points to us. All he needs to do is kill the FDR. And he probably has most of this game in the bag, because, I mean, the Neptune's AA is no joke. So, of course, he gets a dive bomber attack, and I'm like, oh, the FTR's gonna burn to death. Oh, wait, no, he's left on a 1100 health, and the Midway didn't recover any of those dive bombers back. So, okay, so this FTR is uh, taking a lot and a lot of damage. So, at this point, you could still be um, thinking that we might lose this match. There is a possibility. But with the time remaining, we can actually gain back the amount of points we need to win. But we don't know. There's still that possibility. But yes, this actually will turn out to be a win. These guys pulled back that win because the enemy team, being up by so much, tried to win harder instead of just going for the easy win. Our FDR actually does get some vengeance against that midway. Um, and the Midway is saying in chat that he is gonna try- he's gonna get the Roosevelt out of the game. Which, it's funny because the Neptune and the Thunder are being told to stay together for AA support. It's like, I- they don't have to worry. They could separate and they probably wouldn't have to worry because this Midway has a hard-on for the FDR. He wants to kill this FDR 100%. I mean, I don't blame him because if he kills the FDR, he has a better chance of winning because the FDR is worth a lot of points. Rocket attack planes, I thought this was going to end it. Nope, he's on 266 health. So, this FDR is basically a tank. He he is a tank build carrier for this match. Um, there's still a minute 30 left, so that midway could technically kill this FDR. But, it's not going to happen. This FDR is going to live through this match, and I say in chat, FDR is the tanking MVP. With 266 health left, he's like, gonna win this match, being the tank for our team. It's crazy to think about, that the, the CV is taking... I'd love to see that CV's potential damage numbers for this match, because I bet it's higher than any CV ever. Like, that's just crazy. Um, he gets his high caliber there now against that midway with the drop of his torpedo uh, torpedo bombers and with 45 seconds left in this match is the enemy carrier going to reach our Roosevelt to kill him because if he does I'm pretty sure that puts the enemy team at a point where we can't win because literally I think that at that point the enemy CV would be ahead on points like this was the smart move from the enemy cv per perspective he has 15 seconds 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and he kills all of the planes 
he literally survived this match on 266 health. Anyways, post better results screens that no one cares about because this game wasn't about me. But here's the stats for me. Uh, we'll actually go over all those before the team stats. We'll change it up. Uh, most of our damage came against that Massachusetts that we just nuked out of the water. And we still made a decent amount of credits for doing nothing. Anyways, look at this. That FDR, 2,800 XP. 56 aircraft shot down, 3 kills himself. Our Neptune, 4 kills, 2,300 base XP. And our Thunderer got 2,100. Um, also, that Benson that died did fairly well as well. I mean, just look at that. And that Sheikah on the enemy team really had a... I mean, I know the Neptune was in a smoke screen, but he really wanted to get that carrier dead. And so that FDR, I really am curious how much potential damage he got, because that was an insane game. So, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, a rating would be much appreciated, and I'll catch you guys most definitely on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down. Yeah. <laughs>